Hello, I'm Dr. Joe of the drjoe.com. So in this video, I'm going to give you five to six disinfecting agents to sterilize surfaces. With everything that is going on around the world, I felt I should do a video about the best disinfectants for surfaces. What we do know is that viruses and bacteria and even fungi, they do stick around surfaces for a long time and our hands potentially do make contact with the surfaces and of course uh, our hands become vectors for uh, either self-inoculation which means we infect ourselves or uh, become vectors for transmitting viruses and bacteria to other people. So if you know how to disinfect uh, surfaces effectively and the operative word there is effectively, if you know how to do that you mitigate the spread of infections to either yourself or to other people so what I've got here I've got some agents some of them you're already familiar with now the first thing I should say is this if the surface has got uh, grime on it if it's got grease on it the first thing you need to do is to use a regular washing up liquid soap uh, in warm water to remove the grease first of all before you disinfect okay so you clean first of all and then you disinfect later on so what you need to do is just pour the washing up liquid into the water preferably warm water and then you mix it up and then you just use any regular fabric mix it up and then of course you get rid of uh, the grime from the surface okay next thing you have to do is dry it off first of all okay the surface needs to be dry the next step is you use any regular disinfecting solution uh, that is in a spray container and you spray it onto the surface and here's something that is also very important when you spray it you need to leave it for a couple of minutes leave the disinfecting solution on the surface for a couple of minutes at least about three minutes okay and then you come back with kitchen towel or any other uh, clean towel and you then wipe the solution off uh, to disinfect the surface so that is your first line of attack what else can you do well another thing you can use is alcohol what I've got in here is a solution that's got 70% isopropyl alcohol in it with 30% deionized water now ideally uh, you should pour the alcohol into a spray bottle I did order some a couple of weeks ago they yet to arrive so I really cannot do the demonstration now but you pour it into a spray container and then you spray it onto the surface that way you sterilize that surface okay now here's something else you should know about alcohol as a disinfecting solution and the first thing you should know is that uh, alcohol based disinfectants uh, either contain isopropyl alcohol like the one I had in my hands a short while ago or they contain ethyl alcohol those are the two most popular alcohol that are used in uh, disinfecting solutions alcohol primarily targets bacteria like Klebsiella E. coli bacteria but alcohol has also been shown to inactivate viruses and fungi but for the alcohol to be effective, the solution needs to contain at least 60% alcohol concentration. The ideal alcohol concentration should be between 60 and 80%. When you have concentrations of more than 80%, uh, the effect becomes paradoxical. It becomes counterproductive. And I'm going to explain why in a minute. So how does the alcohol work? Well, alcohol works by denaturing the proteins uh, present in the bacteria or the virus. And once it does that, uh, the virus or the bacteria becomes inactivated. But for the denaturing process to actually take place, there has to be uh, some water in the alcohol solution because the presence of water helps the protein uh, denaturing process. So when you have concentrations of alcohol of more than 80%, uh, the alcohol solution becomes ineffective in killing the bacteria or the virus. The reason is because there's too little water present in that disinfecting solution. Alcohol has also been shown uh, to be more effective in killing viruses that are actually wrapped in an envelope like the MERS virus which is the Middle East uh, respiratory virus, the SARS virus as well as the COVID-19 virus. Conversely when the virus is not wrapped in an envelope alcohol is not so good at actually inactivating that particular virus. And what other disinfecting uh, solution can we use to sterilize our surfaces? Well, you can use hydrogen peroxide. Uh, it's another disinfecting agent because hydrogen peroxide has been shown to kill or inactivate bacteria, viruses, spores, and fungi. The good news is that you can use hydrogen peroxide safely in the home because it doesn't produce any dangerous compounds when you use it to sterilize surfaces. 
Another thing you should know is that there is a newer type of hydrogen peroxide and it's called accelerated hydrogen peroxide. The accelerated hydrogen peroxide is actually more effective than the 3% hydrogen peroxide that we are used to. So how fast does the accelerated hydrogen peroxide actually work? Well, the accelerated hydrogen peroxide is thought to kill viruses in less than a minute. In actual fact, 30 seconds flat. So what does this mean? Well, it means you don't need to leave it on surfaces for a long time compared to other sterilizing agents. And the next disinfectant that you can use to sterilize surfaces is bleach. Uh, this is a brand of bleach that I got in my hand here. This is thick bleach. Bleach is a very effective uh, solution, but there are some nuances regarding bleach that you need to be aware of, and here they are. Yes, the first thing you should know about chlorine-based cleaning agents like household bleach is that household bleach typically contains between 5 and 7% uh, sodium hypochlorite. So sodium hypochlorite is the active ingredient in bleaches and the household bleach uh, typically will kill bacteria it's got the ability to kill fungi it's got the ability to kill viruses but as good an agent as household bleach is in killing viruses bacteria and fungi it does have some downsides and this will include things like the fact that household bleach can be irritating to the eyes it can potentially damage some surfaces so you cannot use it on just any surface and household bleach also has the potential to form toxic gases when you mix it with other cleaning agents for instance when you mix household bleach with alcohol it's got the potential to form chloroform gas which is quite toxic and another disinfecting solution that we can use to sterilize our surfaces is 10 percent malt vinegar the 10 percent malt vinegar is made from malted barley uh, which is a grain and the barley is made to undergo through two processes of fermentation uh, the first fermentation process results in the production of beer and then a second fermentation process is uh, induced and with this the ale is then converted to malt vinegar now 10 percent malt vinegar uh, has been tested against uh, viruses for instance the h1n1 virus and it was shown to be very effective in inactivating the virus so whereas the 10 percent malt vinegar is effective in killing viruses uh, the white vinegar on the other hand is not a very good uh, disinfecting agent so uh, please do not use white vinegar uh, in place of the 10 percent uh, malt vinegar because you're not going to get the same results so please remember the rule you clean first then disinfect afterwards so if you've got dirt uh, on a surface if you've got grime on a surface you need to get rid of the dirt first of all by using soapy water to clean the surface it's only after you've done that and you've dried the surface you can then apply your disinfecting agent so there we go hopefully you got some value from this video if you did please give the video a thumbs up please like the video please share this video with friends family and colleagues if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe and if you've got any questions any comments leave them down below as usual and that's about it until next time well this is dr joe signing out